Hello, Miss Liz Cross. And all of you guys who are watching this uh, channel for the first time, welcome. We have Liz Cross, information in the description box below on how to connect with her, channeling our lovely Eric and possibly doing mind probes, uh, which she also does. She can she can probe into the mind of anything that has consciousness and almost everything has some sort of consciousness. So, uh, but anyway, we'll go beyond that and start with the questions. Hello, Eric. I love you. Hello, mom. Hello. He's blowing you kisses and he's handing you a big red heart. He says, oh. I missed you. Oh, I know. I miss him too. All right. Well, get on with it. And some of this, uh, uh, these questions are going to be just perfect for mind probing, Liz. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't even all, know what we're doing. <laughs> well, it's sex trafficking, human oh. trafficking, basically. But anyway, okay. uh, Paula told us to start it uh, for you in your case at question 43. All of these questions come from our wonderful community. They're so brilliant and they have such great questions. Anyway, the first is, is Epstein really dead? And how many more Epsteins are there? Like people like him. Is he really dead? Is he really dead? Yes, he is. Now, I had a video somewhere many moons ago on YouTube and it was ripped down by YouTube uh, oh. where all of the evidence that Epstein has is buried in a little cave on that island he had in the Caribbean. Yeah. And it's still there. It's still there. So, yes, he really is dead. Wow. How many people are, are like Epstein doing exactly the same thing? And how many islands, if any islands, are like Epstein Island? Uh, there's about eight of those islands that are similar to Epstein Island. This is all, you know, not spoken about. These are wealthy people that use these types of services on this exclusive or in these exclusive places. Yeah. Um, they know how to cover their tracks for the most part. And they also know how to have time away from the home. I feel like whatever their wealth or their their job is, they're allowed to, you know, have time away. If my husband's 10 minutes late from the store, I'm on the phone, right? But the, yeah. <laughs> these people are, you know, they're used to traveling. They're used to doing business. They're used to not being asked questions. Uh, how many men are there or how many Epsteins are there? Because it doesn't necessarily have to be a man. Yeah, no, no. Uh, Millions. How much? Uh, a, a couple million. Oh my God. Uh, I was going to ask about his partner. His, uh, his Maxwell? Friend. Yeah, but I don't see those questions here. They're, they're here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway. I, I haven't ever probed her, which would be okay. a fantastic probe if you and your audience want to put a Maxwell probe together. Uh, all right. Well, 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 first of all, we'll, we'll go on and see if she comes up uh, here on the questions, uh, but I just don't see her name. All right. What happened to Epstein? He was, in, he was in prison and all of a sudden the recording, the video, the camera recording of his cell stopped. And that's when he was killed. To me, that sounds fishy. I, I I mean, I don't think he committed suicide. I think he was murdered. Did he commit suicide? He didn't commit suicide. No. Even the autopsy report, I mean, the the damage to the hyoid bone could not have happened with the kind of strangulation, self-strangulation that they were talking about. Who killed him? Or if they were not supposed to say, that's fine. Who killed, who killed you? What type of person? I mean. Three. Uh, I feel like there were three individuals behind the killing. Mm. I feel like security was paid off. Yeah, because they, they also went on break. You know, I, I think that's what happened. And um, I'm asking him who exactly was behind the killing. I mean, there's powerful people behind that killing. Uh, somebody definitely, definitely did not want their name leaked out. Now, a lot of people have asked me this before. Was it Prince Andrew and the royal family? And that's a strong possibility. Oh, wow. 
Wait, I'm going to tell Paula. I don't see any questions on the list with Maxwell. Tell her to get the questions about. for Prince Andrew as well. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if that comes up too. Uh, all right. So what goes on deep in Epstein Island where humans are kidnapped, uh, you know, brought to there? What's going on deep in the Epstein Island? Is there any other dark activities besides rape? Oh, what were the things? Well, it's extortion. Um, the yeah. main MO behind all of this was blackmail and extortion. So cameras were set up. People were taking photographs. Very wealthy people are being plied with alcohol. Oh, wow. They're having a good time. The girls come into the atmosphere, into the, the party room or wherever it was, is what I'm getting, the party room, the lounge, the party room. Oh, wow. And, you know, at that point, your secret is safe with me. Yeah. And yeah. they were encouraged to visit the island without their wives. Yeah. It well, was always... Yeah given out as it's a boys weekend or it's oh a man bonding weekend let's talk business but actually what he was doing is he was blackmailing all of these people yeah was there a lot of drug use on the island i'm the sorry clients, uh, 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 drug use either by the clients or and or the the women was there drug there the women certainly yes yeah um, was there drug use used by the clients? Sometimes. I mean, most of these guys were just alcohol. And yeah. most of them actually were pretty straight laced. So I feel like their drinks were made a lot stronger than yeah. they normally should have been. Were drugs being dropped in these drinks? No, drugs were not being dropped in their drinks. But they certainly got them in compromising positions. Yeah. They would then, you know, they would then have a team or have people, I'm going to expose you. This is going to go on the front page of like the Daily Mail. If you don't cough up a lot of money, you have to wire it. There were various bank accounts around the Caribbean. And, yeah. and you know, people complied with that. They didn't want, uh, they didn't want anyone to know what they were doing on this island and yet oh. it was all a big setup yeah were there any boys or young men who were raped or you know no okay it's all women it was well, all didn't women. they worry about the women the girls escaping and then telling all because i think maybe that did happen i can't remember mm. after the fact maybe after epstein's death um, i feel like too managed to get away is what he's telling me to manage to get away okay. um but for the most part these were wayward waifs and strays vulnerable yeah. you know parents had their own issues they weren't being protected you know their their whereabouts were not really account accounted for yeah. you know it's kind of like you do you and the parents were pretty much out of the picture yeah. Um, and these girls needed money. And and I what I'm pulling is that, you know, they made a lot, some of them made good money. And uh a lot of people or a lot of the women that were involved, they have not come forward. It's only a few that have come forward. Why? Afraid for their life? Um, why why haven't they come forward? Because they've gone on and married, oh, you know, yeah, prestigious or businessmen. Yeah, I see. What they don't want me, listen to how sick he is, right? He's saying, you know, it provided them an opportunity to see what was out there and how they could, you know, catch or bag a wealthier type of man than what they were used to. You see how he's talking to me? So, the, so it sort of, some of them went on to try to bag these wealthy men. So therefore they don't want to be exposed. They're in these social circles. Oh, yeah. um, 
Makes I sense. feel like these girls were quite handpicked. Okay. Now, what about this Giselan Maxwell? I don't know how to pronounce her deal. Let me see if if Paula came back. Can can we try to Mac uh, to uh, mind probe her? Yeah, of course. She yeah, she's in jail. You know, she's taking in jail in her stride. As soon as I connect with her, I'm very surprised by what I'm receiving back. She's really gotten used to it. She's found a niche in in the jail she's found a place um i feel like she has confidence or trust you know and and really it's almost this is really kind of sad actually the the bonds that are being formed in jail it's almost like the family she never had oh. that's sad isn't it oh. Let's yes. Let's ask uh, her mind, her consciousness, um, to tell us what happened. Like why? What? What was her part in all of this? And what does she think about it now? Oh, uh, what was your part in all it? Well, the 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 part she says was to procure the girls. But I'm like, you were in a relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. That's right. So. At any time, did you not get jealous that he wanted to be with other girls? No, she she really didn't. But why would you, like, what was the fascination with all of this? Like, why would you do yeah. that? Why would you put yourself in that sort of, um, in that sort of trap? And she actually, she liked... She liked being in those circles. She liked the lifestyle. She liked that money was no object. Um, she says, I was a very sick person. Yeah. And I didn't have a full understanding and I lacked empathy is what she just said to me. So obviously she's had some sort of turnaround. Good. So now she looks at it differently. Mm -hmm. okay. Did she love Jeffrey Epstein? And also, did she participate in any of the sexual activities? Did you actually love Jeffrey Epstein? She says no. I actually was more in love with the lifestyle. Oh, yeah. And I was more in love with being taken care of and being noticed and being someone in, important. Yeah. Um, did you actually take place in she did. She did take place in the activities as well. Wow. Um, she doesn't like to speak about that because she just put her finger over her mouth to me. Yeah. But she oh. was doing that as well. And I'm saying, but you went to great lengths to live in this lifestyle. And she said it was the lifestyle that was everything to her. So she was more infatuated with the lifestyle. Yeah. And, you know, she grew up in that sort of lifestyle. Yeah, tell me what happened in your childhood that made you take this path or what were, were you just, you know, convinced by Jeffrey to go down the wrong path? Why take that turn? Why take that turn? Why would you? Well, she never felt important in her life and she never, she always felt used and I feel like her father had very important people around her all the time. Yeah. They would drink. They would touch her inappropriately. Mm. Did your father know about that? Sometimes. But, yeah. you know, it was kind of like, I'm not saying as a kid, but as a teenager. And it was just kind of accepted. Um, you know, well, they've had a bit too much to drink, you know. Oh, yeah. And she yeah. learned early on. It's funny because now she's saying the same thing that Jeffrey said about those girls. She learned early on the power that sex has. You know, sex is a commodity. Yeah. Sex is powerful. Um, and you can do, you can manipulate a lot of people through sex. And you can make a lot of money through sex so yep. uh that's where she learned that sex was power and she felt like 
on the inside, that's all she had. So then she purposefully designed her life around wealthy, ambitious men. And she, you know, and, and used her sexuality and her status as well uh, to achieve that. Sad. Oh, that is sad. So that's all you have. Yeah. Anything else before we go on? Because I want to talk about the Vatican and the royal family, too. But uh, uh, does Miss Maxwell have anything else to say via mind? Oh, let's ask her about. Let's ask her about Andrew. So, what was this thing about Prince Andrew? Okay, now she's just come back. He's guilty as H E L L, mm. and I'm like, wow. Okay, he's in total denial. He was a chronic cheater. Um, he. I can't say this on YouTube. Oh well, no, it's okay. You don't have to. Um, he was a chronic like solo pleaser. Okay, um, got it. Got it. And he sex he addict, liked, basically. Right, and he yeah. basically he liked for the girls to watch that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, sorry, I can only give you what I'm getting, but. You know, he he actually entered into a transactionary, so it went beyond uh, Epstein blackmailing him. It was, I can come to the island, I can have privacy away from the media, the cameras, and, and I'll just pay you. Wow. Can we mind probe him? You want to? Yeah, okay. I love the royal family, just not him. <laughs> oh my god! So, uh, Prince Andrew, what, 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 what happened? Why did you become who you became? Why did you become embroiled in all of this sex addiction? Yeah. Why? Because so he never felt loved. He yeah. never felt appreciated. He never felt as if he had any connection really with his parents. Uh, mom was gone a lot of the time, raised by strangers. He's telling me there was no love there. There was no warmth. Um, it was very difficult to get to know from his perspective, his own personal thoughts, feelings, and opinions. It was very difficult for him to get to know his parents and have a relationship with his parents. That was, is very cold. Yeah. That's too bad. And it was all about Charles and Anne. Oh. So was there any, um, did he, was he ever abused as a child, like by a nanny or tutor or something like that or a relative? No, no, oh. not sexually abused. Mentally, oh. mentally he's saying, oh. you know, I never felt good enough. I was trying to find my place in the world. How do I fit in with this family? And how do I make something of myself? And I feel like he still has not found that place. I feel like he's a lost soul. Mm. And of course, yeah. you know, uh, sex addicts, and I, I come across a lot of them. Hunter. I'm like, oh, red you know, line Hunter is a classic case. I mean, I do think that's it's a mental illness, like any addiction. So it is. There's that. It is. But he, you know, he started that from a very young age, and um, Fergie had no idea what was going on. And of course, again, he was able to make excuses and and do what he wanted to do when he yeah. wanted to do it. Right. Um. Let's ask Prince Andrew if the royal family or any part of it uh, plays any part in human trafficking or has anything to do with human trafficking. No. What about the Vatican? Uh, let's grab the Vatican. Uh, Is the Vatican a big part of human trafficking? You know people are going to come after me with pitchforks now. <laughs> well, we don't, have to. Don't, don't do it then. No, I know. No, it's okay. That's, I don't show my face for a reason. Right, right. Are you involved in any sort of human trafficking? Not directly. So, inadvertently, 
Yes, meaning obviously the Vatican is in control of Catholicism. Uh, obviously these types of exchanges go on around the world. They try to have some sort of control, checks and balances in place. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, like schools that have been set up in third world countries, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. It's almost impossible to not have in in the uh, entire religion because you know it's such a vast religion. Yeah, all over the world. Yeah, roots all mm -hmm. over the world. So, yeah, it's like herding cats. All right. Um, is the U.S. government and or any other government getting mon monetary kickbacks for human trafficking? Not directly, not directly. As as a, as a government, no. As possibly individuals in the government involved, yeah. yes. But as the U.S. government as a whole, no. I I feel like okay. they're very anti trafficking yeah well, that's good. well what about other um countries like ukraine kazakhstan i mean different other you don't have to list them individually if you don't feel comfortable but um, are the actual governments of like russia ukraine eastern Bloc, are they involved in human trafficking or is it just like the u.s people in the government are involved ukraine I feel like the Ukraine is just trying to survive. So there's lots of bad things that are going on yeah. uh, unbeknownst to the government. And even if they do know, how are they going to possibly stop it? Their hands are tied at this point. I feel like uh, Eastern Europe, there's a lot of trafficking that goes on. I feel like Poland is a, 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 a pass through point. Yeah. A lot of girls are passing through, a lot of children are passing through Poland to be dispersed in other areas. Like a Walmart I, distribution center. Yeah. Um, I feel like Slovakia also, you know, they handpick these girls. They, yeah. you know, not just girls, but they, they know where the vulnerabilities are. I mean, this is a business to them and business to men and to, women to the government, Polish government, or just to the human traffickers. To the government? No, to the traffickers, even okay, though the it. traffickers may be affiliated with the government. Um, but you know, they know exactly what they're looking for. They've done this yeah. for a long time. It's like any business you you refine and you tweak and you know what to look for. They know to go to the orphanages. They know to go to uh, vulnerable areas. They know homeless. to go to drug yeah. addiction, uh, yeah. homeless areas and, and teenage kids. They know how to do this. Yeah, of course. Uh, what's a bigger problem worldwide? Sex trafficking or drug use? The, the two are interlinked, obviously. But what's the bigger problem? Drug use. Okay. Eric, this is for you. Of course, you're answering. Are there undoc undocumented humans bred only for the purpose of human trafficking and sacrifice? I mean, these humans have no birth certificate and are not a part of society. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Also, in the this is part of the same question. In the 1980s, when the Franklin cover-up, don't know that, happened, was Johnny Gosch, G-O-S-C-H, Gosch it could be, sold by his father to a trafficking ring associated with the White House. And he's still alive today. I'm going to look him up. I don't feel he was sold to something that was affiliated to the White House. Was he sold? I don't feel like he was sold, okay. but I do feel like he was kidnapped, whoever that person is. Okay, Johnny. Uh, was he, is he still alive? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see. That's yeah. a shame. He did. Born in uh, November 12th, 1969, disappeared September 5th, 1982, was a paper boy in West Des Moines, Iowa, 
who disappeared between six and seven in the morning. They don't know where he is. As of 2023, they, there have been no arrests made and the case is now considered cold, but remains open. Wow. Mm. That's terrible. What was he, was he kidnapped to become a part of a human a tr sex trafficking ring? Or, ch or child labor, maybe? Right? No, he was kept for one person. Ooh, wow. Two, who was, is a guy or a girl? Probably a guy. It was a male. He was um, chained up. Oh, and, and abused sexually? Yes, and tortured. How long did he live chained up? In or in captivity, period. About two years. Wow. But he was getting stronger, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And even though he was chained up and not getting a lot of exercise, he was becoming larger. He was still growing. Yeah. And that sort of scared the captor. Yeah. You know, Madeline McCann, when yeah. I looked into her, Whoever kidnapped her sold her. And this person they have in Germany is not the right suspect. Mm. This German person, he's not the correct suspect. Okay. Is Well, we, we could do a mind probe. You probably already have that mind probe for Madeline. So y'all check out her YouTube channel, which Paola will put also in the description box. So be sure you click on that because she has tons of mind probes and all great. So um, is this why the border is open? Why they stop building the wall and the remain in Mexico and just do the catch and release is be to funnel bodies into child trafficking rings and sex trafficking rings and just human trafficking all together, you know, all in all. You see, I'm getting a no. That's not why the border is open. The border is open to be like, seen as this wonderful loving you know <laughs> humanitarian country oh, virtue signaling. It, what virtue it, signaling. right and it and it and it's but it's fueling all of this underground mm -hmm. mayhem right yeah um like it is not compassionate to no. encourage people to go that long trek get raped or killed on the way die lose all their life savings you know it's suffocated in a hot you know truck bed and you know and and then to be trafficked and and also for fentanyl to come yeah to come across and killing hundreds of thousands of, of humans here i mean yeah. it, it, there's nothing compassionate about that quite the opposite yeah. And and I did an extensive probe on all of that on my channel. There's a video and it's pretty disgusting because what's going to start or what is happening, but will happen more and more. These trafficking gangs are going to load up people in vans all over South America that pay money to be transported to the border. And then they kill them. Yeah. It's and they're nice. going to dump them in the jungle and shoot them in the back of the head and then go pick up another load. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what, what's going to yeah, happen. That's right. Uh, all right. Let me see. I might have to break this into two parts. Yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh, and stop here. And I'm going to stop the recording and then we'll restart for another part of this. Okay.